Okay, first, first of all, I'd like to thank you, our organizer, Professor Chung Wang, for invitation to this nice place. And the SOS for wonderful food. Okay. Um, my title. Um, talk is whether a space of stable question maps. Um, people giving construction of that one. Um, I like to give some other um, compatibilizations, which you very well learn. Um, so for the first of all, um, X going to be always smooth, projectable variety over C, um, and. Uh, Basically, what I'm interested in is for following const collection um, over map. So where the C is a um, for a moment, it's going to be just smooth, projective curve of genus G and X. Uh, K tuples of uh, point on C, uh, distinct order. And uh, F is, is um, algebraic map from C to target X, such that um, let me uh, fix the uh, topological type. The push forward of a fundamental class C is fixed better. So this is a Fixed element inside of a second homology group. So, and modular some um, obvious relationship. Um, so two or uh, two of such data are going to be considered isomorphic uh, if. So suppose we have two data over here, and this morphism from C prime to X. Then we like to say that these two data are equivalent if there is a isomorphism from C to C prime such that this diagram commute. Also XI map to XI. Then we we'll like say that these two data are equivalent. Um, this parameter space will be denoted by MGK x beta. Um, then what we are interested in is the uh, um, want to find. Very nice compatibilization of that uh, space, so called uh, find a virtually smooth. So it's not smooth, but this, in a sense, uh, smooth uh, compatibilization. And the uh, well known one is M bar G K X beta. Um, which allow that the uh, that curve C has uh, nodal singularities. Um, so the data C is now uh, going to be a uh, nodal curve connected arithmetic genus is G, and uh, still uh, this is a map, really mapping and. Uh, um, also, we require that the automorphism of that um, is finite. That the data is finite. So this is called the stable map. Uh, so this is called the stable map. This element is. It's called step map, and uh, it's called step map compatibility of, of 
Step in that. Of, uh, no, sorry. S step map compatibility. Um, so in particular, the um, element in here might be contains the following thing. I mean, um, for example, genus one curve, and uh, here genus uh, maybe some other curve. Um, so this is total C, and uh, maybe map F map to target X. such that the, um, um, this component, the genus one component, may be collapsed to a point. So that, that only this one uh, mapped to non-trivially, but the, this component uh, collapsed to a point. And still, the, uh, all the conditions are satisfied. Uh, automorphism is, automorphism group is finite. So that this one is, also in this element. Um, um, so in a sense, that's a little bit um, uh, bad, and um, we don't want to collapse any uh, component. And the Um, um, actually, in fact, one can find uh, a construction or, or compactification using only finite maps. So here, this map is not finite because the um, this whole component collapsed to the point. But the, using only find map, it's possible to compact it by uh, that's, um, that space in the beginning we considered. Um, but however, need to change the target x. Um, so in such a way, um, we constructed the, uh, um, the so-called um, unified <coughs> stable map compactification. So this is a collection of all certain um, data, um, F, and I also need to specify the uh, target. Each time, the target going to be changed. Uh, it's going to be variation of X. And with the certain conditions. And so one of the conditions is that the uh, F is finite map. F is uh, finite. Uh, you, you keep them, keep them same keep them the same and, uh, by using all the finite maps, but still possible. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the, you have I mean, branchy right, right. variety, right. But the, uh, that's right. So, you, you, um, so Alex Sip and the collaborators uh, has uh, such a work also, as you said, um, not changing the target. But however, the, uh, the modular space is not uh, virtually smooth. So the, um, the it's virtually smooth, yes, yes. So where do I want to compactify uh, features of virtually smooth to define actually some invariant? Um,
can I put it? Oh. But that's not, I'm not going to talk about it. Um, <coughs> uh, and it, it's a, this is joint work with the uh, crash. Um, this is, and uh, Yonggo no. So one of the good things about that, actually, that space is that some interiority conjecture due to Pandari Pande, which I like to just mention. Uh, some usefulness of that, um, possible usefulness of that modular space. The conjecture is that the, when x is a funnel, threefold, the invariant group uh, written type invariant defined by uh, that modular space. Uh, Integrals. So um, that's not the case in, in the, when we use the, uh, this stable map compactation, the invariance of uh, rational numbers, but the, using uh, that uh, only using only finite uh, maps, we expect the uh, when x is a final threefold, the invariance are exactly integrals without any change of variables. Um, oh, so, 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 yeah, so, sorry. <laughs> the integers, sorry. Yeah. Um, but today I like to propose a Another compactification um, when the target is uh, GIT quotients, and uh, which also has some applications. Um, so today it's going to be um, X is a GIT quotients. Um, in particular, let me assume that the uh, it's a GIT quotient by um, question of some affine variety. This is affine. And G is a complex reductive legal. Um, I mean, for the presentation, I like to just assume that this W is affine variety. Otherwise, the, uh, the definition is going to be more involved. Um, some also some unpleasant things appears, and uh, so in the fine case, the picture is very clean and very very uh, nice. So the, let me just assume that W is a fine variety. Um, for that, um, <coughs> so what I mean by this one is uh, it's following the. Um, so G act on W, so it must act on the uh, coordinate ring of W. Uh, then just take the uh, Z invariant part. But however, um, <laughs> with respect to the uh, some linearization, so just choose some linearization chi. So chi is a um, homomorphism from G to sister. And that take up m power. So this is an element in H. So element in here are going to be collectionable, or the, satisfy the following property. H um, act by group G must be equal to um, chi to the G to the m H. 
then just take the approach of that um, graded ring. And then let's assume that yeah, this is a pro uh, proper over C. Let's assume. This is proper. Let's see. Then, um, then we want to take a look at the uh, mapping from curve to W mar G. Um, and also, that, let me assume that the, this is a very nice um, GRT question, the, the stable locus exactly equal to semi-stable locus, so that the question is nothing but Ubi space. Hence, um, each uh, open subset inside of a stack quotient. So this, is, I'm telling you, this one is um, stack quotient. So mapping from C2, in particular C2 stack quotients, uh, in a sense, um, by definition, uh, it's equivalent to saying that uh, following, we are having following data. Uh, there's a principal G bound, there's a principal G bound, uh, and the mapping to also W such that this is a G equivalent map. Um, so, in particular, to land to the GRT quotient part, this map is only just required that this map is landing inside of a stable locus. So, in, in general, whenever there is a map from C to any, any polite to step quotient, by definition, um, that means that the, we have this data. G bundle over C uh, and uh, mapping from P to W, um, which is a G equivalent map. Um, so, your assumption that the X is proper means that there are no invariants, no G invariants in C of W, right? I mean, right, right, right. It's, it's, it's at the constant. Yes. And what you define there is just what, what it means to map from C. So actually, you can sorry. This what, what you define there is just, just the definition of what is a map from C to the step to the Gaussian step, right? Right. Mm -hmm. So. You could take that as a definition, or you can each really, <laughs> whenever you map from here to there, you can construct this uh, G bundle by pulling back the uh, uh, tautological bundle, G bundle over here, um, and the vice versa, you can go this way. Um, so the, instead of looking at it this way, I'm mean, mapping this way. I'm mean, uh, like uh, take a look uh, in this way. Um, now we have to um, think about what what do you mean by degree. I mean the, the whenever we have a U, we can talk about some the degree this kind of thing. Um, for this data, uh, we like to think about degree as a following way. Um, <clears throat> so given any G equivalent Picard element, uh, uh, 
there's uh, some assignment, integer assignment um, by sending to L2 degree of take a P times, just take a mixed construction of uh, this L with the principal bound L and then, uh, oh, put back by U. Sorry, I forgot to say this one. Um, this U also equivalent to saying in the um, Mm. So this, this U can be considered as uh, actually sections. So this U also considered as a uh, sections of this um, this some uh, affine bundle. Then this is a uh, line bundle over curve. So we can talk about degree of that one, and then we like to say that the. Uh, the uh, this one is a degree of u. So now that the, uh, we, we change the everything. P is any principal G bundle. So the different maps, we have different P. Yes, different P, yes. So it's something like uh, the, the moduli space of principal bundle. Right, right. And then they have line bundles. So the basic thing here is the GLN. But the line bundle is not also not fixed one. I'm just uh, I'm interpreting the degree of uh, U as uh, th this assignment. So N is also any line bound in the yeah. check with the line bound in W. And yeah, is one of your characters. Yeah, for example, it's a character, right? So now I'm, I'm going to just collect this whole data. I mean, just uh, C, P, U, and what is um, the X, such that the that's a principal, so it's a genus. G, and uh, this is principal G bundle, and uh, W is an equivalent G map, um, and uh, X. X I are distant point. Um, also smooth, a uh, smooth. Just the point on, 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 the, on this node curve. Let's just assume that this is also node curve. <coughs> node curve. And then just degree, degree conditions. Just, just fix, just fix uh, beta. Just fix element beta. That's uh, just a uh, uh, homomorphism from this Picard group to Z. Just fix. And it just require that the degree of that u is exactly better. And then just think about uh, usual equivalence relationship. Um, so it, obvious one is just following. I mean, given two data, p um, prime and uh, c prime, one of the curve, one of the marking, and g bundles. <laughs> And then we like to say that yeah, these two data are uh, equivalent if there is some um, map, I assume this map H, preserving markings and uh, also bundles. So this is supposed to be a uh, square path, such that this, this diagram is commute. Um, it turns out that it is not a uh, good space. I mean, it's not a virtually smooth. So we need uh, more some requirement on um, on this data. So which I like um, say it. first condition, which is called non-degenerous condition. Um, 
which, which means that the, uh, uh, the inverse image of uh, unstable locus. So U is unstable locus. U inverse image of uh, unstable locus uh, must be um, finite fibers. I mean the pi. Um, the, so let's call this pi. The pi is is a finite points and um, must be the and also the intersection of uh, this one with the uh, north and markings Marking is just empty set, empty set. So they never meet. Let me name the other, what is, uh, just let's name this one is some, some kind of uh, base locus. So some kind of base. Let's call this one is base locus. So base locus. Cannot be contains any node or any markings. W is, uh, unstable. Yes, so W is unstable locus. So, so more, we can say it like this way. I mean, the, the this section, this section, only hit unstable locus only at the finite times, away from nodes and also markings. That's a condition we like add, and there's one more conditions, some stability conditions, or uh, actually both are stable conditions, and but this is ample conditions, and that the um, the dual uh, this bundle dualizing ship twisted by this um, divisors tends to with uh, any this, so linearization chi, actually uh, the in general, uh, this one will give you some line bundle O1. Let's call that, that line bundle O1 over um, W. Actually, usually it's going to be treatable bundle, but with the G equivalent lift. lift. Um, then take the, uh, the, the U opposite of O1, epsilon is ample for all, or rational number epsilon. So for, for any very small number epsilon, we like to require that this whole product this is ample. And it, it turns out the um, theorem is that's due to chicken mm -hmm. and uh, Molik and by myself. Um, actually, that space. Let's name it. That space will be called the, the Q map. It's Q map. Um, C Q map X. G K. It's a. What is that? That, that, that um. It's a. It's a. Tillum one part stack of a finite type over C and also it carries 
uh, it's going to be virtually smooth. I mean, uh, it is. Smooth. If I need more assumption to to this model space virtually smooth, that is uh, the uh, W is locally uh, complete intersection LCI, locally complete intersections. So actually, in fact, the, um, when the this quotient is tori variety, um, chunk and container, and uh, I myself show that the, the, this theorem is true, and uh, and then we immediately generalize to the to that general case with more like. It's not allowed, right? That this condition is not satisfied. Right? Yes. Even though it has a positive degree, right? So that that should, um, the new feature. I mean, the uh, so, so it's a little bit different from the uh, step map complication. Let me just assume that, the, for example, there's no marking. There's no marking. X i is just uh, there's no k equal to zero. K for the zero case. Then the, uh, uh, the element in this modular space, the curve C cannot be have rational tails at all. There's no rational tails. I mean, the, this is not allowed. I mean, the, the genus G and uh, maybe P1. This cannot be a cause because uh, this condition is violated. The degree of omega c at p1, that p1 is negative. Right? So, so, so let me give some historical remark about that um, the space because the, uh, in fact, some of cases are known already. Um, so first of all, the, um, the PN case, when X is a PN, the PN is obviously uh, GIT quotient of that. And in that case, the and and the fixed curve, fixed curve, sorry, fixed curve. So to not allow a very curve C, I'm just fix a C. Uh, the space actually considered by during that. And the, um, he named that map as a quasi map which is called it a uh, and in fact the uh, um, for any closed sub right any closed sub right in the pn um, we can just uh, consider quasi map space into y i mean the the quasi map into y is uh, just a map. It's a, it's a Cauchy map. It's a, um, to x uh, such that um, the
the image is large in Y, the image. Yeah, I don't know exactly in what purpose I mean, he considered such a space. But nowadays, that those such space are used doing some geometry Lagrange things. Um, which I'm sorry, I don't. I cannot explain that one. Um, the second, um, <coughs> in the case of a tall case, suppose W is just a C, and and G is a torus. Such that so the axis is uh, toric variety. And C is also just fixed P1. Then uh, that Q map space, uh, I like to denote that, that such case Q map um, X, that toric variety we do. Fix the curve P1. So C is just a, exactly just P1. I mean, there's no other component. That is um, actually it's nothing but also another toric variety. I mean, it's, it's also another toric variety. Um, it's very easy to construct it. Um, So just imagine the, uh, this is CN, and we have a map from P to uh, CN. So P is a uh, system R bundle. So it's a direct sum of a line bundle, R many line bundle, and then you have a map from here to W. Um, and this, so fix P1, and then this data is exactly equal to collection of uh, sections U. <laughs> U1 through U, um, the dimension N, such that the degree of UI, uh, so UI is uh, uh, degree better the I homogeneous polynomials. In X and Y. And quotient by the in this that group action Z. So here better DI is so DI here DI is the um, the toric divisor, this, um, the, there are capital M many toric divisors. And that, that toric divisor is considered as um, a G equivalent Picard group element, right? G um, equivalent divisors. So, um, then we can talk about the image of a di of this beta. So that's a number. And we require that this ui is a homogeneous polynomial of this degree. And, and, and this one is used by Diventer uh, to Proof a mirror theorem to prove that. For x itself and also each complete intersections. So collabial, oh, sorry, collabial. So, 
So we might consider uh, this construction could be used to study chromophobic invariance for um, non-abelian quotient. I mean, this is such abelian quotient, and uh, we might use chance to uh, use that one um, um, to study chromophobic invariance. Because the, uh, this model is much, much simpler than the stable map compatibilizations. We have a, a corresponding stable map compatibilizations. In that case, even though we start with the fixed P1, we need to pull up the, um, some point. We need to change the curve P1 um, to allow that there's another P1, I mean, trees of P1s. So domains are quite, um, Complicated, but however, the, in this quasi map complications, we can just fix the, the P1. That's a one of a good point for this model space, and that, that should also can be applicable to any target uh, X when X is GI quotient of a um, fine variety. So the, the theorem is for the affine quotient case. Uh, yes, that in the case of a generally uh, projectable. At the person case, you need to change the uh, actually the de definition of a squashy map space. You need to generalize a little bit. You need to generalize it. But which I don't want to do that. Now let's double research. This is particular vector space, C R to C N. And G is general linear group R, so that this one acts on the uh, matrix A uh, to the like uh, B here B. Or B bus. Um, then the uh, the. Using suitable linearizations using determinant um, of B, the quotient becomes the uh, Grassmannian. And, and, and then um, let's fix also curve. In that case, the Q map space also well known. Um, that's the equal to actually core scheme. Core scheme of uh, the following. I mean, the before that, let me uh, let me see what uh, how can interpret the, uh, the element in here. Um, just that element is a P and C curve, fixed one, and the U, and home to CR to CN. And that gives rise to, um, by uh, missed constructions, sections, and uh, um, so that will give us the uh, um, From the, uh, the ship morphism, rank R, so this is rank R local free. Morphism from S to uh, trivial bundle over C. So rank R local free ship on, on C. Uh, And, and that the non-degeneracy conditions implies that the, uh, this map is actually injectable, injective monomorphism, non-degeneracy conditions. Uh, and also, uh, local freeness actually comes from, oh, no, sorry, local free, right, right, okay. Yeah, that's right. 
So, so I'm just taking this, we are, I'm, I'm just separating the, uh, this, this product, CR, CR1, CR times P times Z uh, will give us S, and the, the other one will give us trivial rank M bound because of group T only act on CR. So that uh, th this one will give us uh, quotients, quotient shift that's a rank M minus R and degree. So degree by degree reason, let's fix degree. So in this case, uh, degree can be considered as a number degree D, which a degree D quotient shift. So this core scheme is going to be quotient shift of this trivial bundle such that the, the quotient shift must have this topological data or rank MSR and degrees T. Mm, yes. So when I fix, always uh, I assume that this is a smooth fix. So also this one is used to uh, study Kromov Wittenberg of Grassmannian case um, by various peoples. And, and then this year spring, um, the MOP, actually they um, constructed the, uh, that modular space with that same target X Grassmannian space. However, uh, varying curve C. So the, now I'll allow that curve C is varies. It could be any nodal curve. So, Marian and Opria, Pandari Pande. Um, construct a portrait. Uh, compactification all right very for this class manual target space so th th they named the uh, um, the modular space stable quotients stable quotients because the it's de defined by uh, the quotient shift of some trivial bundle. Now curve uh, varies, which might have some similarities. And so their notation is a Q um, of uh, X T. And uh, in fact, the, uh, th this space is uh, exactly coincide our one. That's easy to see it, and um, in fact, the, this is this paper, MOP paper, is the main source of inspiration of our work. So that appeared in the spring 2009 in the archive and uh, uh, in the summer uh, we just just realized that yeah, that can be channelized to any GRT quotients um, and using uh, not doing mapping like this way I mean the EP view the mapping data from uh, curve to Grassmannian as uh, some kind of quotient shift. Rather than looking at such a way, um, interpret that one as uh, some sections of some bundle. Um, 
then um, it's easy, immediately you can see that how to generalize the uh, that stable quotient thing to the any um, bind GIT quotients. As a matter of fact, I, uh, I wanted to find the such kind of space. I mean, long time ago, I mean, the, probably five years ago, I wanted to have a um, generalization of this core scheme and, and for other spaces. But, but somehow, the, it turns out that the, the answer is quite easy. <laughs> I don't know why this one didn't discover before. So in the, in the remaining talk, I'd like to give us uh, how to construct a uh, QMAP modular space, how to show each uh, daily map of the stack and proper over C. Um, after that, I'll go over some applications to chromophore written theory. The construction itself is very interesting and very easy, elementary, and also can be usable to construct stable map compatibilications. So construction. So in the beginning, we, W was a fine variety, so it can be embeddable to some linear space. So G act one here. Um, the QMAP space is a collection of following on the QMAP space. Just a collection of a principal bundle and sections, right? They are, they are. And then there's some conditions. Um, <clears throat> so first of all, you can see that there's a map from this Q map to this stack. So we like this one, stack. This stack to the uh, bun G. So here bun G is a collection of uh, just P and C. Just forget about sections and P, principal bundle over curve C. So it's curve varies and the principal bundle was P varies. That's a very, very big stack. I mean, it's an artin stack. However, it's a smooth stack because uh, the base uh, space C is a curve. And also by um, forgetting the uh, of uh, this principal bundle data, we have mapped to oh, source of XI. We have mapped to the um, modular space of a pre stable curve, genus G and K marked. K point to on. Nodal curve. So this is a collection of so, so this is CX. It's not necessarily the uh, stable. Just to require that each just nodal curve. That MGK also um, was a smooth stack. That, so what is well known is that it, uh, this is um, also it's a smooth artin stack, and also. <laughs> This one is a smooth morphism. 
so that also this one is so, so smooth at this step. So my first goal is to show that this uh, QMAP stack is algebraic stack. I mean, the, it's an Artin stack. Why is an Artin stack? Um, So that can be the same following way. I mean, the, uh, this QMAP stack actually closed sub stack inside of uh, some kind of a bundle stack. Uh, sorry, uh, yeah, yeah. So some some total space of bundles over this bond G epsilon. That this map from here to here. So, so this is just collection of. Uh, I just want to change the uh, this W um, by twisting. Uh, the, the, sorry, and, um, and V. Sorry, to, to change that to V, and give high enough uh, twisting. Such that I mean, so that um, this section space going to be a, um, the section space is the dimension of the dimension of of section space is constant. So we, we can show that there are some boundaries, boundaries for QMAP data. So there's some uh, fixed large number M circle such that uh, the dimension of that section space is constant and also H1 of that uh, uh, bundle, let's call E. Vanishes. So what I did is following the just interpret that section U as a uh, section of this bundle high enough for twisting, and the good thing about that bundle is the section space is uh, the dimension of section space is constant. So it's a this epsilon is a vector bundle over bond G. So, so this is small. Representable. <coughs> Representable uh, morphism. So epsilon becomes the uh, artin stack. Um, and which tell us that since this is Close sub stack inside of Artin stack, uh, the Q map becomes Artin stack. So, in my second talk, um, I'll show you why this one this stack is a Dillian Mumford stack and why it's separated and so on. Okay, so let me start. Mm -hmm.